friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're going to make lasagna for the freezer. You're going to need some partially cooked lasagna noodles, some cooked ground meat that I've seasoned with onions and garlic and salt and pepper, grated mozzarella, I'm going to use celery and mushrooms. You're going to need a tub of cottage cheese, two eggs, some pasta sauce, some Parmesan, some salt and pepper. Let's get started. Okay, since everything is just pretty much ready, let's do our cottage cheese layer. Now, folks, again, this is a fast, simple lasagna. We are going to serve with a salad probably and some bread because I have family coming for the holidays. They're coming on the 20th and will be here until after Christmas. So I'm making ahead some meals. We're gonna add the two eggs so that I can just pop them in the oven because I want to enjoy my family's visit. I have two eggs. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of onion powder, a forefinger and a thumb pinch so about a tablespoon and a half of dried parsley. And you can go out if you want and spend 10 or $12 on a lasagna this size and all you're gonna get is some noodles and some sauce and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now the reason I put egg in this cottage cheese and I don't use ricotta folks cause well, in our small pissant little town, you can't always find it. And I don't run around looking for stuff. I grab what's available. I work with what's available. Now, I put the egg in this so that when it makes a layer, it will firm right up. First off, we have one of these foil pans. And I have coated it with butter. And I am just going to pour some tomato sauce into the bottom. And I'm just going to spread that around. You don't want too much for the simple reason is your lasagna is going to end up swimming in sauce if you do. So get it in there, spread it around. There we go. Now we're going to put in our meat. Now this is about a pound to a pound and a half of my ground venison and pork and I fried it up with salt and pepper and onions and garlic fresh onions and garlic fresh onions all that lovely stuff all right now let's put our first layer of noodles down I, I hate it they're never long they're never short enough and don't be afraid to use kitchen scissors folks I use them all the time cutting pizza all kinds of stuff these are oven ready noodles and I <clears throat> they say you can put them in with extra sauce well I still partially cook them they're a little stiffer than you would normally have because I partially cook them but at least I know they're going to be cooked okay so there's our layer of noodles now we're going to pour on our cottage cheese layer I'm going to save some because I'm making a small one for Papa and I for supper tonight. And we're just going to spread that over the noodles. Another layer of noodles. Now one of the reasons why this is such a, I'm using, making such a simple recipe is when you have more than normal people in your home, some people have funny taste preferences. Like normally I would put spinach in here. But then you might have somebody who wrinkles up their nose and says, well, I don't eat spinach. So, I mean, you try and look after everybody. Okay. Now, we're going to take our celery. Drain some of the excess water off. This is my home canned celery. Like I said, you can put spinach in. You can put whatever you want in but I'm keeping it fairly simple. Now we're going to put our mushrooms on there. 
and we're going to take half. Let's spread that <clears throat> out as best as we can. It doesn't have to be full or it's going to be all over the place. Besides, the celery and mushrooms are just an accent for the Parmesan cheese. We're going to put a nice layer of Parmigiano over top. Not Parmesan. I'm sorry, folks. This is mozzarella. You can use actually whatever cheese you want. I have been known to mix cheddar in with my mozzarella to give it more zing. One more layer of noodles. Some of these noodles are busted up now. Get dear to the bottom of the pot. But that's okay, folks. No one's gonna know that the noodles were broken. Because by the time it's on their plate, they're cut up. Now, we're just gonna add a little bit more sauce. Just a trickle. Now we're going to put a nice layer of Parmigiano. So this is not authentic lasagna, folks. Now the reason I'm putting the Parmesan under the top layer of mozzarella is because this can burn. So, we're just going to put the last of our mozzarella on top. And you have a wonderful lasagna ready for the freezer that is much, much nicer than anything you're going to buy in the store. And if it's going to be nice, if it's going to be this nice in the store, you're going to pay about $20 for something like this. This cost me under $10. Easy, under $10. Lay this out on a big sheet of foil. And we're just going to fold this down over. And when it comes time to cook this, you can just unfold that foil a bit. And tent it up and pop that in a 350 degree oven. Frozen for about an hour. And the last half hour, take the foil off so that it will brown up. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, remember folks, if you're going to have company stay with you over the holidays, don't kill yourself slaving over meals. Make them ahead and freeze them. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>